Hello and welcome back to Sherwood Park Toyota. Today we're taking a look at a 2019 Toyota Highlander SE in the color red. Let's take a look. Standing up front here we have our LED headlights and customary daytime running lights. You can see on the corners here this unit does also come with fog lights. As we go along to the side we have our black alloy wheels and our side mirrors with integrated turn signals and the blind spot monitoring. All of the rear windows in this unit do come with the factory tinting. And looking up top, you'll notice your roof rails. Looking here at the back, if you look underneath your logo, you'll find your backup camera. And to open up the back space, simply press the button underneath the logo. Looking in our rear seat area here, you'll see both have second and optional third row seating. Both of them come in split formations, which allow you to put them up or down in order to accommodate for some more cargo space or for your passengers. This is done in the rear area here by pulling on the little straps on the side. And in the front, there are controls on the seats we'll take a look at in a minute here. You'll notice that the back here does have this black Toyota branded rubber matting which protects your items from the vehicle and your vehicle from your items. If you're looking for your spare tire kit, simply look underneath the mat, find this little tab and pull up. Everything you need is right underneath, including your spare tire. And of course, to close up your rear space here, simply look upwards. There is a handle on the right hand side and the electronic button on the left. Let's take a look at the inside. So in our rear seats here, you'll notice all of your internal upholstery is this nice black leatherette with this gorgeous red stitching detail throughout. We have access through the middle here if you're looking to get to your rear seat areas. We also have a folding down cup holder armrest in the middle that can be folded up if no one's passing through, as well as the armrests on both seats. We also have the controls on the side here that show exactly how to fold down your seats in order to access the rear area, as well as to basically fully remove the seats and push them all the way forward. In the middle, we also have the rear air conditioning controls so that your rear passengers can control their own airflow. And on the back of both the passenger and driver's seat, we have some nice pouch storage. Some more storage is on the door here. And a nice built-in feature is this sun visor, which is built in, folds away, and easily pulls back out. So moving forward, if you take a look at your handle, you'll notice these two lines indicating it is a keyless entry unit. You can simply tap your hand there to lock and unlock. Inside of your door panel here, we have the power windows for the front, the back, and your child safety lock, power lock system, and side mirror controls. Your seat settings for this unit do come in an electronic variation here. Front, back, up, down, lumbar support. And then this little button, as you can see, actually pushes out the space right under your knees. If you're looking for your hood or gas release latches, they are both located on the bottom left-hand side of your dash. Above that, we have a nice small storage area. And then we have controls for your rear wiper blade to be heated, your headlights, and your power trunk release. So looking at your steering wheel, on the left hand side here we have your volume control, radio controls, your mute, and then your hands free communication. And on the right hand side we have controls for your dash, as well as your lane departure, sonar, and your cruise control in the back there. In the middle is your infotainment center, this is where you access much information about your daily driving experience, including your navigation and all of your audio listening. This new unit does come with AM, FM, and a satellite radio, as well as a CD player, which you see up top here. We have full Bluetooth connectivity and optional adapters for both USB and AUX listening here. Right underneath there is your climate control center. This unit has dual climate control for you and your front passenger to have your own unique temperature settings. We also have our defrost for front and rear windshields, as well as your side mirrors here. 
And right next to this area is your push start ignition. Underneath we have this nice storage space that runs the full length of the dash here that is lit up very nicely. And this little part which is fully removable which also allows you to keep everything nice and stable and gives you a nice flowing access down to the space below. In the back here, we have your various chargers for your phone, USB and your aux ports, as well as a 12 volt adapter on the far right there. And then we have all of your various traction controls in the bottom. Right next to your gear shift, you have your cup holders and right behind it are your controls for your front heated seats. And then last but not least, looking straight upwards overhead here, we have your sunglasses compartment, we have your garage door openers labeled one, two, three, controls for overhead lighting, and the controls for your sunroof. Thanks again, folks, for joining us on this full video tour of this 2019 Toyota Highlander SE in the color red. It is located here at Sherwood Park Toyota at 31 Auto Mall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta. You can also reach us at 780-306-7703 remember life is full of choices let us be yours